Mike Beauregard joins us now to review the big game. Oh my goodness, Mike, when, when Kevin Glenn got injured, my heart was just yeah. in my throat. And you just knew it was something serious. Yeah. That's unfortunate. They're in that tough. Was awful. But with that defense, you know, they've always got a chance. If they can just not turn that ball over on offense, get Charles Roberts running, and make the odd play, they'll be in that game, I think. Yesterday's big victory was bittersweet. The Bombers advanced to the Grey Cup, but they lost their quarterback for the big game. Kevin Glenn broke his arm trying to recover a loose ball on the first play of the fourth quarter. Kevin Iben of the Argos landed on it, and there was never a doubt the injury was severe. It was a tough way for Glenn to go out. He was having his best season as a professional nominated for the CFL's Most Outstanding Player Award. He got his team this far, but he can't play in the Grey Cup game. You go through, you know, a season and you, you work so hard to get to this point and, and you get to the game and you're not able to play in it and it's tough, you know, but uh, it's a team sport. You know, I, I have much confidence in my team that they're going to still go out and get this ring for me. When the Saskatchewan Rough Riders were told yesterday that Kevin Glenn had been injured and that they'd be facing the Bombers' backup quarterback in the Grey Cup game, most of them asked, who is their backup? Well, his name is Ryan Dinwiddie, and he's kept a low profile until now. Ryan Dinwiddie's life changed overnight. My phone was... I had like 100 text messages yesterday, you know, from different people back home, and uh, they were watching the game. They were excited. It's uh, ironic that he doesn't get to play all year, basically, even though he got a little bit of time, uh, and then next week is going to be his game. The Blue Bombers' seldom used backup quarterback will make his first CFL start in the Grey Cup game. If the likable 26-year-old is nervous, he's not showing it. What else could you ask for? You know, some guys can go in and play against Hamilton, you know, starting the game versus Hamilton. Uh, I want the big game. So this is, I mean, this is the big game. We got a ticket to go to the big dance. Dinwiddie hasn't played much football since turning professional four years ago. But at Boise State University in Idaho, where he starred for three years, they still talk about him. In fact, his old coach was talking about him today. When we talked to him this morning, he was so excited I mean, and I think a lot of guys wouldn't, wouldn't be that excited. They'd be saying, oh, here I go into this game. And Ryan, I mean, he knows he's prepared. He's excited to go play. Dinwiddie had a tremendous career at Boise State from 1999 to 2003, setting numerous school and NCAA records. One of his teammates at Boise State was Blue Bomber linebacker Cam Hall. I watched him in college. Uh, uh, come back from a broken ankle and miss, I believe, five games. And the game he came back, I think, in two and a half quarters, he went uh, like something like 21 for 22 for 405 yards and five touchdowns. Dinwiddie says he hasn't played in a game as big as the Grey Cup, but his nerves have been tested. Um, well, I played in front of 90,000. My first start ever was at South Carolina. And then uh, my last game, I guess, was, um, was maybe it was fresh in my mind, but we played down at TCU in the bowl game, and we were both 11 and 1, and it was like the now the best thing on BCS, they said it was at their home turf, so they had all the fans, and we went in there and beat them, so that was a pretty big win. Kevin Glenn likes Dinwiddie's competitiveness, comparing him to NFL quarterback Brett Favre. Like he's real excited when he's out on the field, and he's one of those quarterbacks that'll make a play, and he'll, you know, he'll talk stuff to the defensive players, you know, so uh, he. He's just one of those type of players. He's got a great personality. I don't think anybody's going to shake him up. Uh, Toronto came with some uh, pressure today, and it doesn't bother him. So I'm sure that he'll be just fine. It's just another game, really. It's just a game. you got to win every game when you're going into it. So I would, probably won't even realize the crowd or any of that stuff's going on. Just be really focused on getting the job done with my teammates. If Ryan Dinwiddie doesn't win the Grey Cup, he'll likely go down swinging. He's a competitor. It's been 17 years since the Bombers won a Grey Cup. Fans here have been waiting a while to let loose. Did you see the airport last night? They showed up in droves to welcome the team home at about 11 o'clock. Players were overwhelmed. They weren't expecting anything like this at all. It meant the world to them. Feels good. Feels good. I ain't never seen a crowd like this. It's amazing. Feels amazing. Feels good, man. What are you, like 12 o'clock or something? To say it's like incredible. We won. I mean, we're one. We're going to the cup. It's crazy. This is amazing, man. You know, we won in 2001 to get to the Grey Cup, and I never saw anything like this, man. So, uh, Winnipeg fans are stepping it up, and uh, they should expect the same from us in the Grey Cup. This is tremendous. Amazing feeling getting off the airplane at 11 o'clock at night. It's fantastic. 
Well, as Doug said, the last time the Bombers were in a Grey Cup in 2001, they were favored to win.